In 1973, in Pasadena, California, Panda Inn was founded. Ten years later, a sleek, sexy businessman showed up and said, hey, can you throw one in my mall but make it quick? And in 1983, Panda Express was born in the Glendale Galleria, which is the mall that I go to. That's my mall. Let's dive in. It has been one week since we ate everything at Burger King, and now we are back. We're eating another menu. This week, Panda Express, which in itself, a hilarious name, because pandas are not known for their speed, or there being many of them. <laughs> so we're gonna go in there, get one of everything on the menu, which I think is only 26-ish things. Yeah. The way we're changing it up today is I'm gonna eat it until I get bored of it. Every single thing. Black pepper chicken, fried rice, white rice, Beijing beef, chow mein, a lot of things. That was five minutes. I am so excited this visual menu is gonna be my guide today. Because sometimes I get and I'm like, I don't know what this burger is. I don't know what the fuck that is. The fortune cookie. The people always used to say like, if you don't eat the cookie, don't get the fortune. That's I'm true. like, fuck off. <laughs> This is so sweet and dry. I'll eat the other half if you're not gonna eat Oh, I would love it. Yeah, I only have to eat one bite, so. Oh. Your passionate heart will meet a matching flame today. Panda Express. Is this saying I'm gonna fall in love with Panda Express? I think so. Let's eat Panda Express's menu. Yeah, the egg roll. It's like the best frozen college dorm egg roll. Egg rolls are definitely something you never get bored of. Egg roll was probably invented in like the 1800s and 1700s. No, egg roll was definitely invented deep, deep in China. I have just been informed the egg roll was invented in 1930s New York, but I, you know, pretty much ancient China. My favorite and my mom's favorite, the crab ragoon. Mm. It's like a Chinese cheesecake appetizer with a light crab flavor. I fucking love these. This is the vegetable spring roll, which typically is only in rice paper, but they've done us the honor of frying it, and I appreciate that. It's like vegetables turned into goo, but the outside is so crispy, and the flavor is so good, like I can look past the goo. It's like if an egg roll was a gusher. It's just the fried lo mein noodles. Enjoy our crispy noodle in salads, soups, or with your favorite meal. They're even delicious straight from the bag. Wow, those are some crispy noodles. Do you see how far that one jumped out of my mouth? Jesus, the tension on that. They're good, they're bland. I think they would probably be better on a salad or in a soup. <laughs> and now that we've finished a course of the meal, of course, I get to have a fortune. Be curious, be present, embrace uncertainty. And we're gonna do just that because we're moving into these boxes and they all look the same. So let's just start being uncertain and embracing it. White rice, I mean, it tastes like how uh, the rice aisle at the grocery store smells. Kind of woody, kind of dusty, kind of ricey. It's not gonna hang out, you know? He's gonna have buddies joining him later. Broccoli. Ugh. Could've used a little more time in the steam bath. Oh, fuck yeah! <laughs> Everybody loves lo mein. Mm -hmm. Good chew, not too much oil. Definitely has a lot better texture than the rice. I would never get tired of eating lo mein. I'll keep this around, because this is also like essential for the, the dining experience. That was chow mein, not lo mein. I guess chow mein and lo mein are the same. The fried rice. You know, perfectly simple. It's better than white rice. No, I'm getting it everywhere. I'm in my house today, just like in the Taco Bell episode. I got a new painting. All of these sides are very much carrier pigeons for a more important message, and the message is meat. Brown rice. Oh, it's so wet. Can you hear it? I mean, look at how together it is. <laughs> it's glue. Remember in the Matrix when they eat that like soupy cereal? <laughs> this is probably what I imagine that tastes like. They say it's very bland and very boogery. Bowl of snack. 
Some quick research. Chow mein is supposed to be when like the noodles are fried and they're like kind of crispy. Lo mein is when they're like boiled and probably stir fried so they're pretty gummy. These are gummy noodles. These are lo mein. But I think America just calls all noodles and veggies that are stir fried chow mein. And I, you know, chow is a better word for Americans. We like to chow down. But we also like to get low. The honey walnut shrimp. Look at these walnuts. Let's try a walnut. Mm, and these are like candied walnuts. This is the least healthy form of walnut I've ever had. Walnut, walnut, walnut. These panda nuts are nuts. Let's try this shrimp. I'm very excited for this. I've never had the shrimp from there. I'm always wary of seafood from fast food. It's pretty pleasant to eat. It's very gummy. It's not the best shrimp in the world, but it tastes kind of like shrimp. So there's a vegetarian thing on the menu that's tofu and eggplant. What's it called? Literally just eggplant tofu. Hmm. This is also the one that leaked all over everything, which Chinese food is kind of like, you always get one thing that spills in the bag and then you pull everything out and it's just covered in some sort of brown sticky goo. So that is part of the experience. Tofu and eggplant. I think I could blow a bubble with this. It's like eating a manila envelope. It tastes like shards of paper are floating around my mouth and just slowly getting soggy. Let me just see. Very similar experience to the food in the box. Shanghai Angus beef. Straight from Shanghai. So tender. Just watch, this is beef. Okay, I didn't do what I thought it was gonna do. <laughs> my beef just went through like butter. I know there's sauce on my face. Okay, I need a towel. It's all over me. Well, the Shanghai beef really fights back. It's pretty good. I'm excited about this little mushroom. Look how perfect that little mushroom looks. Oh, that's an excellent mushroom. Green bean. What the fuck? <laughs> What's wrong with this dish? You keep kissing your arms. <laughs> no, there's sauce on my arms. I'm not kissing my arms. You do it a lot. It's like a good version of the terrible Taco Bell beef. I should try it with a noodle. Maybe that'll help quell its anger. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So you do need to balance this with some of these sides. I feel like I need to take a bath. <laughs> This is beef and broccoli. I can tell because it's got beef and broccoli. Thin strips of beef that are soaked in sugar and oil. A little too wet, much tougher meat. Look at that fried rice. Solid dish. Can't go wrong with beef and broccoli. It's a little bland, but it's definitely what you expect it to be. I could see myself getting bored with this. Let's introduce the first guest of the day, Eugene Lee Yang. I wear black and white because I'm a panda. Oh, that's so cute. You do love pandas. I do. I mean, and I'm bears. Asian. I'm required to like pandas. Yeah. A lot of Asians and a lot of people like to say that places like Panda Express are not legitimate Chinese food. Fast Chinese American food is its own category. I would argue that it is its own type of cuisine. Yeah. And Panda Express was created by Asian people. Yeah, it was. Yeah. Let's eat the Kung Pao chicken. Yeah, I'm already eating. Careful. Good flavor, spicy. I mean, it's not super authentic, but I don't really care. Yeah. Yeah, because it's, it's yummy. You no, know, I'm not eating those peppers, you crazy. Spicy. These peppers just scream mm -hmm. fuck you. But fried rice, it, it could use a little more flavor. It just needs some salt. Mm -hmm. I like the chicken. Mm -hmm. Really fatty. Mm -hmm. And like, when you're at the mall, don't you want to eat the food that has the reputation of you'll be hungry again in two hours? So then you can get a pretzel. Yeah. Let's open our cookies. You have to say your fortune and then add in bed at the end. Ooh, mm -hmm. you will place your trust in others and be rewarded in bed. Wow, that seems like it's only for that. Yep. Your boundless heart will make room for one more in bed. Wow. Wow. Is that saying you're gonna like fuck a lot have of people? A I feel like this is gonna be your least detrimental to your body eat the menu yet. I think I might be. You might want more Panda Express. Usually you'd have the other Try Guys come guest, yeah. but because this is Asian food, I mean, who needs more white guys commenting on Asian food? I think you should have all the other Asian people in the office come in. All right, well, I guess I'll have YB and Alexandria show up. If you sign up on Patreon, you can watch YB and Alex eat all of the food that I don't eat in these videos, because everybody's like, Keith, you're wasting food. I'm like, uh-uh, I'm making my employees eat it. <laughs> you have a little pepper here on your teeth. I have a lot of problems. But give it up for Eugene Lee, yay! 
Croatia, the teriyaki chicken. This meat was cooked recently. It was grilled. It's got that sear. It smells amazing. I'm excited. Mm -hmm. That is the flavor. When you walk around that food court, you're doing laps just to get an extra bite every time you take the lap and hope he doesn't remember who you were. Oh, thank you. Mmm. Oh yeah, I might get that. I'm gonna walk away. If he did this and just that broccoli and white rice, it's probably the healthiest thing you can do at a fast food restaurant. I made some noodles. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh. These two are best friends. Ladies and gentlemen, she's our editor. She's amazing. Welcome, YB Chang. Yay! Yay! Hi. YB, I have a very special dish for you. Okay. I think you're gonna like it. It's the <gasps> Beijing beef. Yes. <laughs> I like going back and forth between this and orange chicken because mm. it just has like a good flavor. Mm -hmm. So if you do a combo, you do the Beijing beef and orange chicken. Yes. And then noodles, fried rice or white rice? Noodles. Yeah. Chow mein all the way. Yeah. Oh wow, it's so sugar soaked. <laughs> it's like breaded like a fried chicken, but it's pounded and it's a piece of beef. Yeah. So in the South, this is chicken fried steak. This one, I'm not getting tired of eating it. It's right? really quite good. Oh yeah, that's why you go between this and another chicken mm -hmm. or something else so that you can just eat more and more mm -hmm. and not get tired. Why do you want to be called food babies? Because it's like cute. You know, it's like we have food babies because we're eating so much, mm -hmm. but like, you know, we're also like- You're also- Like- <laughs> <laughs> Please, please explain. <laughs> you're, are you are you are you like saying that you're hot like a babe or like you're sexy like a baby? All right, thank you, YB. We'll see you next time yeah. on Eat the Menu. Oh, am I supposed to open a fortune cookie? Yeah. But oh, you don't eat it? No. So you don't eat your fortune? It's magic. It doesn't matter. Nurture your dreams. That sucks. I know. In bed. In bed. Those who have hope. Have everything in bed. <laughs> well, thank you. Okay, you're welcome. Bye. Bye, YB. <laughs> YB Chang, everybody. Yay! What are you doing? R. Kelly was just charged with aggravated criminal sexual misconduct. All right! Yeah, yeah we got him! Wow, I can't believe it. We're a news organization. Mushroom chicken. Oh, fuck. It's really good. That's a terrible name for how delicious this is. It's really savory. Oh, wow. I could eat this whole carton. You know the um, Chinese takeout cartons unfolded in the place. Unfolded? Yeah. How will I fold it back? Eugene! Oh, wow! Oh, look at it, it's like origami! I do. Wow, whoa, and then it goes right back! Wow, fuck! China! Salty, amazing. I would never get bored. Straight meat chicken. There's onions too. That was a big piece of chicken. This one tastes like at the end of your Chinese food meal when you've mixed everything together. This just tastes like that. All the way from production at Second Try LLC, please welcome Alexandria Herring! Ah! Ah, the other half of the infamous duo, <laughs> the Leftover Ladies. No, no, no. The, I don't want to call you the Garbage Gals, but if you insist, the Garbage Gals. Hi, I'm on half of the Food Babies. I'm like a child of the food. Oh, that's yeah. close, that's better than, cause you know, or. <laughs> also, yeah, cause you know, you know. Okay. You know. <laughs> I like, okay. Um, <laughs> I don't quite understand, but comment below if you like food babies, leftover ladies, or the garbage gal, which I don't, even if you vote for that one, we're not gonna pick it, because it's mean. The dumpster divas. <laughs> I love it. Pepper chicken. This is my dad's favorite. He always loved the pepper chicken or the pepper steak. Shout out to Donald Habersberger. Dumpster Danny? Dumpster Danny. My dad? My dad's not part of the dumpster divas. Cheers. Mmm. Mm -hmm. yeah. You have that nice gummy texture of the chicken, 
but then the nice crunch of the celery. And I love my crunch. Oh, this chicken is so good. Is that gum? I don't know why you don't like this. This is delicious. It's just sugar, Alexandria. And it's like a little spicy, a little pineapple-y. Take a shot. Will you take one with me? Yeah. Okay. Cheers. Cheers. Honor the restaurant. Better do it, I'm watching you. Mmm. Oh. Mm. Oh. Oh. So good. Oh yeah, so good. It burns so good. It does taste like a terrible jello shot. Oh, I don't feel good. Uh-uh. Bye, Alexandria. Thanks for Oh no! Oh, fuck! Fortune, I can't, can't try to say goodbye! I want all the fortune for myself. I love the fortunes. For success today, look first to yourself. In bed. Say yes. In bed. All right, thanks for dropping by, Alexandria. See you later. Bye, thanks guys. Bye. Thank you. Bye. See you. See you in the after show. We're here. We're at the end of the menu, and we're finally where everyone wants us to be. The coveted, the golden, the impeccable, the perfectly, impossibly delicious orange chicken. Orange chicken. The only fried. It's the only fried chicken morsel. So delicious, you want to eat it twice. Mmm. Oh, yeah. It's so good. God. The orange chicken, you just can't fuck it up. I don't know, I feel like when you walk into a Chinese food restaurant, it smells like the orange chicken. You can smell the oil, you can smell the sugar, you can smell the orange. Everybody's having a good time. People are dancing. Uh, Asian ladies are, are like walking quickly between tables, cleaning up plates as loud as they can. <laughs> and just, and then people are getting big plates and little boys are going, oh, wow. And then everybody's like, the orange chicken is here. And like streamers fall and everything falls away to black and it's just you and your family at the table. <laughs> and you're just there and you're just, you're just feeling good and then everybody takes a bite. And all the arguing stops. This one's also a lot grating. There were like five or six things that I thought were really amazing, but I think my winner is going to be the mushroom chicken, terribly named. But I thought it was actually the best balance of salt and sugar and flavors. It didn't feel too fatty. And I think people haven't tried it because it's named poorly. So I'm trying to put that out there. Try that mushroom chicken. Tell them Keith sent you for 10% off. <laughs> nah, I don't know if they'll do that. But you can tell them. My least favorite, hands down, the tofu eggplant. What a garbage vegetarian choice. You gotta give them something else, Panda Express. Cashew veggies. I would eat the fuck out of cashew veggies. That was the only thing that was bad. I ate the box. Out of all the fast food places I've tried, this is probably the best one. Just because like, I don't feel like garbage. There's enough variety for you to feel like there's a lot of options, but it's not overburdening with you with all these like crazy, slight variations. Everything was very different. It's simple. And I think that's why they're so successful. We'll see you next time. This has been Eat the Menu. I ate the menu. Make sure you join our Patreon to see the leftover ladies slash food babies slash garbage gals eat everything I didn't eat this week. Plus, I'm gonna make them go buy some more food because I actually ate a lot more than normal and they need to really do the mukbang, you know? Eat, eat way too much food, you know? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right, we'll see you next time. Beijing beef, ba 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 ba. Beijing pork, ba ba da ba ba ba. Beijing duck, ba da 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 da. Beijing deer, ba 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 ba. Beijing fish, ba ba da 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 da. Beijing geek, ba ba da 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 da. That's the end. Pow.